should be another fish. We had a few more big boulders right out in here. Ooh, oh, he hit it, Dan. Did he? He got him that time. He hit yeah. it like a big one. I think this is a big one. You're mad, uh, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Or, or better one, that's for sure. That's for sure. Whoa. Whoa. Well, he wants to come out and play this way. Yeah, that's a little bit better fish. He jabbed at it once, and then, and then I came back on him. Oh, man. Nice, nice one, man. Nice one. Well, these fish are, re are really active. I, you know, they're lit up, boy. They're jumping all over the place. I love it. That's what smallies do. But as I said, they, they like to bite and they like to fight. Is, isn't that a good quality? <clears throat> like, we were say, like we were saying earlier, the basic nature of the smallmouth is they're, they're a social fish. They like to be with other fish, and they like to play. They like to show themselves. Look at that. That's a good fish, Dan. Yeah. That's a good fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they school up. They're aggressive. You can catch them all season long. If they're in an area, they show whether it's on a topwater or a jerk bait. That's one of my reasons why I love fishing smallmouth. These are my favorite fish. Socially, they are, are, are uh, a great fish to fish for. They got a good, good, good attitude. Look at that. That's a good one, Dan. That's a biggie. Yep. Fishing anywhere in Ontario is a true blessing. There is so much water and so many different fish to fish for. I find it interesting that some lakes will have strong populations of northern pike. Others will have numbers of lake trout, and some may not have either. But almost every body of water has a good population of walleyes and smallmouth. These two fish go together like peanut butter and jelly and are prolific in this neck of the woods. Interestingly, on this particular trip, we spent a lot of time fishing shallow and did not catch any large walleyes, just peanuts. And knowing how fast these big fish migrate from the spawning areas to summer locations, we decided to evacuate the shallow basins and start probing main lake points in the next basins out. We spot hop fishing fast and aggressive, looking for biters. I bet that pattern's holding pretty dang, dang good, Dan. It's another big fish. What it feels like a huge walleye. Is it? I think I got a big, big walleye. You want me to get the net I've, out? I got a big walleye. Yeah, you want to get a net on this? All right, all right, all right. Yeah, ooh, yeah, big walleye, big one. Yeah, get me the net. Okay. I, I, I need to. I need this this fish. I don't. She's not real big, but she's plenty big. Okay. Yeah, we okay. Ooh, okay. On. Watch there the we go. Yeah, you know, I thought she was a big walleye, but it ain't a bad one. Yeah, this is a classic looking spot. Okay. Okay. Dan, get that un un unwrapped. Yep. Get that jerk bait unwrapped for me. Uh, I thought she was way bigger than that, but it would tell where some of these fish are already out. Look, that's one of them deep blue ones. Huh? Nice fish. I thought she was a biggie, but look what we got. We came out and we've been fishing that shallow water for a while, and now we're back out in some deep stuff. We've been making a mistake. Now I know what to do for the next couple of days. <laughs> hey, for more information, check out visitsunsetcountry.com or call 1-800-665-7567 to get a free guide and map.